La 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 Adam's little vlog. Tally ho everybody, this is A Heap of Games, Adam speaking, and I'm here to do my top five things I'd like to see in the new series of Robo Wars, because, as I'm sure you may have heard, there is supposed to be a new series coming up in 2017, so this will be technically series two, or technically series nine, I'm not sure which way they look at it. So I've got five things listed here that I would like to see changed or added into the next series of Robot Wars. Now I must say that I did enjoy for the most part the previous series. Um, the last heat which is heat E and the final combined got me a bit frustrated and that meant that when I came to do my review I sort of flipped my lid and uh, went a bit mad. Um, but that plays into my first suggestion which is change of format. The format that we have had previously was head to heads which I had its flaws which I think I explained on a couple of occasions during my previous reviews I'd probably like to forget about the last review the grand final review but I still said stuff about the format in there where there's just too many cons in there a format I could suggest would be to go back to the original format which would be the just straightforward head to heads once you're out you're out you're done but there was one I thought up this morning while I, whilst I was in the shower, which would be, you start off with ten robots, if you're stretched for time, maybe six, and so you have um, an odd number of battles to start with, so say you'd have five battles of head-to-heads, so you'd get five through to the next round. Now what you do then, is you still give the other robots a chance, and you still have a good number of battles, the losers from those first rounds all go into a big annihilator, so it would be five five robots against each other. And the winner of that battle goes ahead into the next round, so then you'd be back up to six. Then you'd have three head-to-heads. Three would progress, and then the three losers from the second round would do the same again. They'd fight against each other, and the winner would go on to the semi-final of the heat. And then it would be normal two head-to-heads and then the heat final. That's... Something I've thought up this morning, I think that would be better. I could be wrong. Um, you could disagree with me all you want. Second suggestion would be Morse, M Morse, Morse, more house robot action. There was a distinct lack of house robot action in the first series. I thought the in the in the previous series of Robot Wars back in the day. The house robots would begin given a little time at the end of the battle to mess around with the competitor, and that'd be what they did. That's where they saw most of their action. We, we didn't get that in this series. It would be nice to see the house robots given time to play. It would be nice to see Sergeant Bash back as well, uh, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. Maybe the ref walk back. Not too bothered about the other new house robots they introduced from series five onwards. Was it series six? I don't know. Craig Charles is my third suggestion. Now, I love Dara O'Brien, he's brilliant. I was thinking maybe it would be an odd pairing, but maybe try throwing Craig Charles in there as well. Maybe have two boos, or maybe have them both next to each other. I like Dara O'Brien, I don't want to see him go, but I also want to see Craig Charles back, so if we can work that somehow, that would be absolutely tip top yibbity doo. Fourth suggestion. Is the return of some old favourites. Now, I know that's not really down to the show, it's down to the competitors, but robots I'd love to see back would be ones such as Hypno Disc, Tornado, Killertron. One of the ones I'd like to see back would be Roadblock, not, mostly because they're from Bodmin, and Bodmin's just a few miles away from where I live. So it'd be nice to see a Cornish robot competing and doing well, hopefully. It's been a while since we've seen that team. So, robot returns in general. And then the last suggestion I'd like to have the top. The top one of the top five things I'd like to see is some changes to the arena. By that I mean I'd like to see maybe a new obstacle. We've got the flipper, we've got the the pit, we've got the spikes. We haven't had nothing. Uh, we haven't. We ain't had nothing new for a while. So maybe uh, I don't have any suggestions at the moment. But if we could have a new obstacle in the arena, we've come a long way technology-wise. So there must be something we could add to the arena just to spice things up a bit, just to add a new little thing into the mix, just to make the the arena a little more um, unique or or bring it up to the modern age. And that's something else I'd like to see. So those are the top five things I'd like to see. All in all, though, I'd be relatively happy if we kept what we have now. 
uh, it would be good to see if Apollo can hold on to its title. I need to say congratulations because I don't think I did say, I must have said congratulations, but congratulations to Apollo for winning. Um, overall, in uh, the first series of the new Robot Wars, I'd also like to see the return of PP3D and Gabriel. They were probably my favourite robots in this series. So, Apollo, can you hold on to your title? And can we see some returning robots doing well this year? This has been A Keeper Games, my top five ideas for the next series of Robot Wars. If you've got any ideas, why don't you put it in the suggestions below? Maybe a top five of your own. And also remember to like, subscribe, comment and share to Aber Games for some more Robot Wars content, Banter Wars content. If you haven't seen that, I've got loads of Robot Wars like stuff on my channel. And other gaming or comedy content. This has been Aber Games, I'm speaking to our little pip to loot and cheerio! See you later!